You are listening to an all new episode of the Model Experience Podcast live from the Model House. The Model Experience is the number one resource for models. Real models, real stories, real resources. Visit themodelexperience.net to learn more and be sure to follow us on Instagram at the Model Experience. Welcome back, guys. We are at the Model House. This is the Model Experience Podcast. I hope you know. I'm Rio Summers. Who do we have here with us today? What's up, guys? Ashley Runway in the house. And you know Lamaya Good is here, baby. Our special <laughs> guest today is Ron McPherson. Give it up for Ron. Woo-hoo. Hey. What's happening, everybody? The clap's going. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we're excited to have you um, and just have your perspective. So lately, we've had a lot of models on here. They come, they tell their story of you know their journey and kind of suggest things for our listeners. So we just want to get your perspective. You're more behind the camera. And I'm sure you have some tips for our listeners. So. From a director's standpoint. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been a director? You know, uh, I've been directing. I've been a director of photography and, and uh, worked very closely with a lot of directors, too, uh, for forever now. I mean, it's, it's probably been uh, about maybe 12 years uh, that, I, that I've really started doing it professionally. Can you list some of your credits? Oh, Lord. <laughs> let me see. How much time do we have? Come on. <laughs> no, no, we uh, want the juicy right. stuff. Yeah, yeah, we, we want, want the, the celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, probably one of the biggest people is Kevin Hart, who uh, is incredible, great to work with, super wow. pro. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a guy that I have trouble not laughing behind the camera. Uh, he's, he's just so good and a pleasure to work with. Uh, uh, he's great. I've worked with guys like Ray Liotta. Uh, who wow. was very exciting to work with. Uh, you know, uh, Danny Glover uh, is very awesome. Um, Megan Good, do you know her? Oh, <laughs> I do happen to know her. Yeah. share some jeans with her. Such a joy. <laughs> I love her, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's a few. Uh, that, yeah, that come some to heavy mind. hitters. I mean, uh, hello, nice and humble there. I love it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just a few, yeah. And I always forget people, too. You know, it's like uh, there's so many people that we get, you know, we're fortunate enough to meet and work with. And um, and then you see them or you see something that they've done and you say, oh, I worked with that person. And wow, I didn't know that you worked with. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's just so many, you know, and they're, they're good people. And so has there been anybody that hasn't been that stood out in a negative way? Because it sounds like a lot of the professionals that you've worked with have been good experiences has there been any bad experiences maybe with their camp or their or, their, or less professional i mean you don't have to name names <laughs> yeah you don't, don't have to name like, names yeah, yeah, but of course yeah well it's always um it's always surprising to me when uh there's somebody that you know um and they're getting a large amount of money uh and it's their job and they show up and and how they execute their job and what that experience is like when it is negative um, you know, it makes me think, and it, it actually kind of shows me what not to do, you know, right. it shows everybody what not to do. <laughs> um, but yes, there have been, and sometimes you're right, it is not necessarily the person, but it's who comes with them, and, and who you have to deal with just to get to that person. Sometimes that's a, you know, a factor that you mm. have to consider. Um, a big one, too, is knowing your lines uh, when it comes to movies. Um, and again, I've, 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 you know, crossed the spectrum. I've seen big actors that have shown up and not known their lines. It's a, wow. believe it or not, it happens. Um, and, uh, you know, right in the middle of rolling, they'll, they'll just say, oh, hold on a second and have to refer to the cut, the script or ask for a line. So you brought me in on a job, which thank you for that, by the way, but we got to work with Kevin Hart together. And when I got to set, um, someone handed me a script and was like, you're reading lines with Kevin. I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I've never read a script out loud in my life, but okay. Wow. So that was really interesting to watch him work. And like, I won't say that he didn't prepare, didn't know the lines going in, but pretty much from what I gathered, his workflow really happens or his process the day of. Mm-hmm. So it was just like very repetitive, going into character, going over the stuff over and over and to watch him perform and kind of execute in that same day. Mm-hmm. Like, that's insane. A lot of professionals, I guess that is kind of the thing where they have a system and a lot of yep. our viewers um, need to know that there has to be a system in place that allows you to be prepared for each each role, each job. Most successful people have a formula. It doesn't matter what your industry is. There's some kind of system and formula. 
So as a model, as an actor, it's finding those things. It's hitting, you know, 10 castings a day, every day to book that one right. every week. Is there is there certain things that people... Okay, so if you're shooting something, right? Is there things that somebody who might be atmosphere, background, that they can do to stand out, not be distracting, yeah. but That's stand out, you know, to the director or to... Um, you know, the artist or whatever. Are there any things that you would suggest that can make your stamp in a positive way to the director, DP, um, artist, for people who are, like, kind of new to it, coming in the game? Yeah. What are some things that they could do to leave a good impression? Yeah, yeah, There's a, it's a great question, and there's a lot that you can do that is that is easy. I mean, the first thing is just be kind. You know, that's a big one. If, if you can maintain that, no matter what's going on, what kind of stress is going on in the situation, if you can be kind, you're you're going to go miles. You're going to go way farther than anyone. Um, so so that's probably the number one thing, and along with that comes being a professional. But I think that the people that come up to me uh, that impress me the most, in, in in to answer your question, are the people that just simply come up and maybe pay a compliment or maybe uh, make a statement of. You know, hey, I, I, I had a, a question. I noticed you were doing something. Mm. Is there something I can do, you know, wow. that would help you? Uh, so offering offering any kind of uh, help or, hey, let me know if there's anything you need from me. Did did my yellow shirt stand out too much? Should right. I, is it, uh, you know, it, little things like that. Engaging, always, mm -hmm. kind of being engaged. And collaborating, you know, really knowing how to collaborate without stepping on toes without over speaking someone or trying to make somebody feel like they don't and know that's their job. an art i feel like because even today i sometimes feel like shoot did i overstep did i not say enough right. did i say too much like yeah. so i feel like that's a constant battle but just having some kind of awareness helps that you don't yeah. want to step on people's toes and you learn that you know because you can try to pay someone a compliment or make a nice you know uh you know offer to, to help and and some people will be like no no we got this Right. Like, and you kind of know immediately, like, okay, all right, well, you know. I should probably <laughs> step it on back. But it's always the helpful people that make a shoot go smoother, that are pleasant to work with. Because, uh, you know, from the camera side, the crew side, we have to do this every day. We right. have to do this again and again and again with lots of people. And the people that stand out that are helpful and the people that stand out that are not helpful those are the people that we remember. And the next time we do this, which is frequently, we remember both of those people. Right. And we tell our models, we tell models this all the time. The thing that can get you really far, being kind, being helpful. These are things we say it over and over again, but you're hearing it from somebody who's a professional, does this all the time. It really does make a difference. Yeah. And just to get into the kind of the headspace of, what that director might be thinking, at least what I'm thinking, is, wow, I have, it's it's not just the shoot day today. I have this whole thing that I have to see mm -hmm. through, that I have to deliver a finished product on. And this is, today is just one part, one of, part it. of it. So how important is lighting when it comes to photo shoots and video, in your opinion? It's really important. Um, Will it make me look better, for example? Yeah. Can it make or break? Yeah. It's kind of one of those topics that everyone knows they need it, they want it, they usually don't have a lot of money to spend on it typically, and they usually don't have a lot of time for it, but it's a really important need. So within that conversation, and this is kind of a typical conversation, you need to kind of, I try to educate people and balance out that, like, well, okay, here's what we need and why, and here's how much time it's gonna take. And when you have that understanding, then everything you do after that, you're like, oh, well, that's why she looks so good. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, so. so for like maybe a new and up and coming like model that's shooting with a photographer, if they don't have the resources for a studio, what about like natural lighting? Natural lighting's great. Um, I think it's really good to kind of uh, gain an understanding of lighting, mm -hmm. you know, the differences between indoor and outdoor lighting, just generally cool paying, and warm. Yeah. Color temperatures. Yeah, absolutely. How lighting uh, just looks, you know, when you're out in life, you know, just by paying attention and having that awareness. And if a camera is about to go up now, you can all of a sudden click that in and say, OK, let's see, where am I at? How's my lighting? Oh, should I move over here? So how would one who's not professional trying to figure out how to be professional? How do you 
how do you learn these things? Like, do you go to Google and say, how do I check warm, Maybe cool lighting? Maybe just with, like, a selfie. You can, yes. like, go in different environments and, and see. see. Right. And, and that's where it starts. I mean, play on your phone. Play with, you know, look at what people are shooting and experiment. That's the best thing that you can do. And you'll mm. get familiar because, you know, the next time you're in a restaurant, you, you know, you're going to be able to say, like, oh, okay, I know how the, that came out, you know, because I, I saw it. Or, or you can even do a little test. If you have the time, it's really great. Just just do a little test. Hey, let's just see how this looks. Get familiar with the device you're using. Pump up the exposure a little bit. If you pump up the exposure a little bit, it kind of makes the skin tones creamy and milky. Mm -hmm. You don't see the detail. Taking that tip. You know, so that's a good little tip that you can do quickly. Nice. Yeah, I use self timer all the time. I just put my phone down. I'm like, I feel like this might be a bomb. Self timer all the time. And you know, the last thing I would say is. Find your light. You'll hear that. You'll hear that in movies. Find your light. And that just means, you know, find that good light. Yeah. Do you think it's okay for the talent to ask maybe the director or the cinematographer, whoever, to see what they look like on camera? You can. Um, you, you definitely can. And it sort of falls into a category of there are people that don't want to see and there are people that must see. Sure. Mm. Um, but for the for the direct on the director side, like, th- is that irritating or is that something you're okay with? Um, it depends how much time we have because sure. everything takes time. So if I have to stop and you know pacify someone and be like, "This is how you look," this is right, the, right, you know, you got to uh, take everything in context. So I have to consider that. You know, if it's the star, if it's the person that's paying for it, if it's necessary, you know, and if there's time. So yeah. all that within balance. And any tips for, I guess, speaking on camera? Yeah, yeah. So speaking is a big one. Um, I know that we, we kind of cater to models, but I think the natural progression for modeling is right. being on camera and speaking. And the moment you get to have a line in a commercial <laughs> right. or something, that's when we start to get residuals. And like, I think just being able to speak on camera just opens so many right. more doors for you as, as a model. Yeah, and I think the more you hear yourself, you know, and again, it's that experimenting, it's that playing, being able to, you know, look at yourself and hear yourself. You're really able at that point, and especially with others that you trust, you know, you're able to get that direction and and improve and, and, and uh, you know, nurture that. Because, I mean, I know for myself, like, I'm one of those people, like, every time I see myself and hear myself, I'm like, oh, gosh, you know. <laughs> that like, means you need to do it more around. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. And thankfully, I'm lucky enough that I'm surrounded with people like you guys where, you know, you guys can advise me and trust me and tell me, hey, you know, maybe you should wear the black shirt. Maybe you should, you know, maybe you should shut up, Ron. Have you ever had, like, a celebrity <laughs> that, uh, that only wants to be filmed from one angle? Yeah, in fact, some, no way. Sometimes, uh, well, Mariah Carey, you know, there's a very specific angle that she likes. Wow. Um, Ariana Grande is like that too. Mm-hmm. Mariah Carey has her Prince own lighting uh, package that Prince she travels well. with. Yeah, because her a, lighting wow. will be the same every time, like blown out. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can live my life <laughs> with the package, just there, following me around. A, <laughs> there was one one lighting guy that I worked with, and he was telling me the story of an actress that. Right before they rolled the camera, every time it was in her contract, they had to bring a mirror over and she had to look and she would tell the lighting team, nope, that light's got to be higher. Oh and my they gosh. Had before, she must be like big, big time. Was, well, that's the thing. I thought she was. And I said, well, who was that again? And they told me and I said, really? Really? <laughs> but I feel like sometimes that can almost be a telltale sign of somebody who's not. Yeah, like nowadays. Not yeah, it's like nowadays. I feel like the more professional you are, you know these things. And when you hear about these big time celebrities nowadays, back in the day it used to be like horror stories, you know. But I feel like nowadays they're professional and they know that they can't be trifling and just be acting crazy so that kind of shows your professionalism so if you guys are walking around and got this idea that you have to be all like rude and you know on this high horse i think it's actually the exact opposite in the industry now and so you better watch yourself with that all that (laughs) acting like you know you on top and you already doing things even the hugest stars really are professional and kind of have that etiquette so it's something that i think a lot of our listeners need to put in place it's not about 
That set etiquette. That set etiquette, yeah. girl. We can do that next. It's a big, daunting <laughs> task, or yeah. it can be, I should say. Especially, you know, I mean, if you're, you know, if you're in your early twenties and um, you you land a movie role and you're expected to embody this personality that's got this whole background that you don't really know about and you've never you know you've never been there and you know so that that's part of the research and part of the development of you know creating that character part of the fun of it really too but um you know it's it's a it's a it's a it's a big ask you know you never know as an actor what you're going to get asked to do um so i know you are more on the video side but sometimes you work with models how important is movement in what you do as you know as a model or someone on camera yeah, movement's important. Uh, camera awareness. Oh, uh, that's a good one. Yeah. Where is the camera at? Where is it going if, if the camera's moving? If I'm moving and the camera's going, where do we end up and what looks best? Those are all really important things. You know, we uh, give the actors marks, uh, kind of like we have on the runway. I was just thinking, kind of like we do at <laughs> yeah, the fashion show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you see how simple it is because, you know, we watch dozens and dozens of girls probably hundreds of girls come through the runway yeah um and you can see the ratio of ones that miss their mark and their photos aren't going to be that amazing because they're not in focus right yeah. they, they miss their mark and literally. it happens it seems like a simple thing you know um hey there's a there's a, i know you train them Rio. you gotta be <laughs> conscious no, you gotta be conscious <laughs> And I tell them, you know, if you don't hit your mark, we have the lighting and all the, the cameras and everything set up perfectly for you guys. So it's important if you want, you know, that correct lighting, the shadows to hit in the right places. Yep. Hit your mark. So That's right. Aware. And we light for that. That's exactly right. We'll light for that because we know that that actress is going to come to that mark and that's the best light for her. And she's mm -hmm. got a line there and that line has a certain impact in the story. Mm -hmm. It's a very big picture. Everything um, works together, it seems. Also, when you get, you know, again, in a bigger picture production where you have many working elements, you may be in a club scene where there's a hundred people with you and there's a steady cam following you and there's lighting and there's sound and there's, you know, there's literally eight or 12 people following you and you have to pretend like they're not there. <laughs> right. And you have to hit your marks, you know? So do you think um, actors, what we talked about earlier, looking in the camera versus not looking in the camera? <laughs> Give me some feedback on that. Yeah, so eye lines. Eye lines are really important. Um, eye lines, uh, you know, you, you kind of make a decision as a director, and it depends on the context and of the, the style. scene. Mm -hmm. You know, if people are uh, supposed to be engaging in a certain direction, we have to find that eye line and tell them where exactly where to look so that it plays right in the edit. So interesting. So many little things that you have to be aware of. It's like so different from modeling, but it's so similar. similar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you have to be aware in both aspects. Like you have Where's to be. Where's that camera? Where's that light? And you have mm -hmm. to be practiced. You have to, you know, experiment, I think, in both realms. They, yeah, they're very hand in hand. You know what's I crazy mean, is like I'll look at when I'm editing, the, the edit playhead will land on a, an, an image that's a still image, right? And... It, you know, just a random uh, piece of footage. And I'll look at that still image and I'll think, wow, that's a great shot. But when you look at it in motion, it changes everything, mm -hmm. you know? So I look at that still image and I think, wow, that's a great shot, let's play it. And I hit play. And sometimes when it- when not it, so good. It's not so good <laughs> when it goes right. into motion, it was better as a still, you right. know? Right. So that's something to consider when you're shooting too. Yeah. What looks good in photos may and what not looks translate good. in video. Right. Also, there's a there's a whole bunch of tools that we use in post production. So if things aren't exactly perfect, if somebody doesn't say a line the right way, says it too quietly, there's a sound issue, things like that. There's a lot that can be done in post. So I feel like that the more that, that uh, models and actors can learn about the post-production process, mm -hmm. the more informed they'll be. But then do you think they expect to lean on post more? <laughs> like, oh, no, don't worry, they can fix that in no. post. Because I've heard that a lot. Like, really? oh, you can just retouch that, right? And it's like, well, it doesn't just work <laughs> like that. Right. Sure. Yeah. It doesn't retouch itself. I think that's itself. the mind frame. Like, I feel like, you know, to have all that knowledge would be the wise thing to do. For sure. Not to use it as a crutch, but just so that you can be aware of, too, not spending a million hours on something that can be versus, sure. you know what I mean? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's like your, it, it has, your perspective For has sure. to be right.
Right. It's like taking an Instagram photo and not using any of the filters or adjustments. Yeah, y'all better try it. I do it all the time, <laughs> can, honey. Can you do it? <laughs> I'm a professional no Up filter the taker. <laughs> the no filter challenge. The no filter yeah. challenge. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> But, but, yeah. but with post, you know, it's, again, everything in balance. Um, you know, I think if you go in with the mindset of like, oh, well, we could just fix all this in post. Yes, you can. But what if you were to say to that same actor, well, I'll tell you what, every time you blow up, we're just going to take the post fee out of your check. Then it becomes a different <laughs> conversation. Oh, then it's a different conversation. Because <laughs> time is money. And time is money. Edit this. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, no, these are great tips. This is this is what we wanted our, our viewers to to hear from the other side. You and know? having you know, having that trust too. I mean the main thing is have fun with it. That's the number one. You know I mean that shines through. It's like when someone's not having fun on set, it you just can, bleeds through. It does. Yeah. So and then you regroup look like yeah. the odd man <laughs> on on film Absolutely. or still. Absolutely. I came into this interview from rush hour traffic, crazy downtown. I'm like, ah, and then I had to think to myself, like, wait a minute. I can't, uh, you know, that to, to be switch the... gears, you yeah. know, and, and, you know, I'm getting smoother at doing that. Thank God. Um, <laughs> didn't used to be so smooth. Uh, it's all right. We all go through transitions. I'm still trying. Yeah. But to be able to do that, and, and that's a real practice that. that yeah, because imagine day. you're a model, you were in an Uber all day, you're in traffic, right. you're late, you're Boyfriend broke up with you. Everything's going wrong. Right. And you you gotta show up and show better face. Better know how to switch. That literally has like happened. Flip that switch. Yeah. You're like, wait, are you reading my life? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's the life of the It's model. important. It's you true. gotta know how to flip the switch, it's man. True. Perspective is everything. Experience and exploration and figuring out it's everything. Yeah. Nice. Well, thank you so much for all of your wisdom thank and you. knowledge. Yes. I'm so grateful for you. Thank um, you. Tell our listeners where they can find you on Instagram. So Instagram is at Creative Headquarters. At Creative Headquarters. He is the Creative Headquarters. Right. right. If you yeah. need any uh, Instagram content, <laughs> hit up Ron. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Thanks thank for you. Listening. Thank you for coming, Ron. That's Thanks. all right. Our very own Ron. Yay. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Model Experience Podcast, live from the Model House. And that's a wrap.